The following message brought to you by the friends of Chris Rodpour. With friends like these, who needs enemies? I'm Professor Goldstein from Emory, and I really think that people need to, to know about Chris. But several cat generations ago, I had a need for somebody to come in and mow my yard. And so Chris, uh, let's see, what was his last name? Rad Four. Rad Poor. Yeah, Poor. I, I remember now his last name that had the, the phrase Poor in it. Yeah. It's too bad that the exam was on Tuesday. He showed up on Thursday morning and wanted to know why neither the instructor nor the other students were in the classroom. But anyway, I asked him to mow the yard. I showed him the mower. I had even helped him start the mower. Well, you know what about Chris? He was always having trouble. Um, one day, Chris uh, decided to pick me up and he put me in a trash can. And another thing I remember about Chris, he signed up for my statistics class. And he got into the class and was so upset because he thought he had signed up for a statistics class. But to this day, I have no clue of what happened to Chris or the mower, except that he had this checkerboard pattern all over the yard. It looked like he had been uh, scrawling some names and stuff in the yard. But anyway, it just uh, it was that was my uh, first and last experience with Chris many years ago. He was my paper boy, and he broke every window in my house, my car too. It was amazing. He would fling that paper, never aiming at the porch and he hit every window. So I will never forget Chris Radford. I, I can't imagine what kind of future he had. He uh, wanted to sign up for something interesting every semester and he signed up for to study abroad and he was disgusted when he found out he had to go overseas to study abroad. Chris Radpour. Obsessive. A dedication to last throughout the years. So bring your good times and your laughter too. So many things I want to talk about, and yet I dare not. Let me explain some of our current circumstances. One of my first memories of Chris Radpour. Oh. Well, have you ever read the book Like Water for Chocolate? It's a story about a, a woman's life and one of the elements of the story is how someone marries uh, her sister because he can't be with her. I feel like my own life mirrors that in many ways, one of which I love chocolate, but mainly I knew that I could never have Chris Radpour. So I chose to be near and marry his sister, Marzi, so that I could at least be near the magnificent aura that is Chris Radpour. Maybe the sun's light will be dim And it won't matter anyhow Since you've gone, I've been lost without a trace I dream at night, I can only see your face I look around, but it's you I can't replace I feel so cold and I long for your embrace I'm Marzia Rodpour Wiley What else can I say about Chris Radpour? hyphenated, Rod Poor Wiley, feminist. Chris Radpour, let me, let me tell you the truth about Chris Radpour. I think he looks in the mirror and he usually sings Dolly Parton's song. And I will always love you. Because I got the scoop. I'm married to his sister, so I know. Married in 1998 to Dr. Ben Wiley, submissive husband to an obsessive compulsive so wife. Happy together. What about Chris Rodpour? He t tried to take my toys away. Oh, he did? And then. All my toys. All right, I know about that. You can't hide it from me because I know. That we Rodpours were a baby making factory. And all of a sudden I'm like, Chris, slow down all of a sudden. And we are bringing forward a generation. I'm like, I don't want any more babies, Chris. Now, when I listened to his responses, I appreciated his observations. However, I felt a lack of empathy. It scars them emotionally for years to come. 
feedback I have received is um, that we are disloyal, uninvested, cheap. Chris Radpour, pillar of the community, whatever. All right, I know. Now, I'm not going to take crap from you. Good. Don't say it. Don't think it. That's the truth. You want the truth, you come to me. I give you the truth, and that's the truth. We are not using our birth control. I don't know if any of that's true or not. Uh, it may be all falsehood. Um, I don't really remember. Anything else I'm missing? That's all I got to say about it. That's it. I thank you all for taking the time to watch this video. Hi, I'm Chris Rodpour and I approve this message. A whole new world, a new fantastic point of view. We'll always